Good morning. Today is day 10 of the Indie Travel Project, and the prompt is Earth. At what point in your travels have you felt most in tune with the Earth? Share a story of how you interacted with the local environment or nature. So I've been thinking about this prompt for a few hours now, kind of wondering, you know, what is my take on Earth and being connected to it? And I have a travel story and something that I try to do every day. So I mentioned yesterday, my perfect day, I do uh, you know, at least 10 minutes of meditation, just thinking good thoughts. And I'm from Chicago, so meditation sounds a bit weird where I grew up. But the more I do kind of just thinking good thoughts and stuff like that, I definitely feel close to the earth. I will say I went to yoga class this morning at 5.30 for an hour and a half. I definitely feel close to the earth when I'm in an environment like that, just focusing on breathing and simple movements. So... If you're into yoga, you probably know what that is. If you're not, it probably sounds weird. But for me, the story in the past year, I keep going back to the New Zealand, the New Zealand trip that Brandy and Kai and I took. But uh, you know, I would say the, the the one time during, I felt very close to Earth during much of it because a lot of our free time was spent surfing. In my case, stand up paddle boarding and trail running. So when you're out in nature, exerting yourself not around lots of other people, it definitely feels like I'm closer to earth. But the one day in particular is I, I really tried to do a lot of stand-up paddle boarding because it's just more fun, plain and simply, than, than surfing. Surfing's bloody hard. You know, you got to paddle out there like this. You're on your, at, you're on your stomach and you got to stand up. You fall down all the time. I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, for, you know, I'm starting to say, I can't believe I'm saying this, but an older guy like me, I'm getting close to 40, Stand-up paddle boards are definitely easier and more fun. But I started getting my mojo with it probably the last week or two that we were there last year. And there was one day where you know, you've, you've heard this story before. But for me, the, the, the waves were just glass and perfect. And I just, I don't know how many I caught, but you know, I was totally present in the moment, just focusing on catching the waves and riding them in. And it was just a a great hour or so. I don't know how long the time was, you know, for those of you who've read the book Flow or, you know, where you, where time just goes away. It was just one of those moments and I, I definitely felt very close to the earth. So looking forward to reading other people's stories about uh, how, how they felt close to the earth. Day 10. Cheers.